Hey everybody, Stephen John from the Sword Fighting School. Today what we want to work on is some sword and buckler. We just did a workshop here at the school for sword and buckler and it has elements of 133. It is not 133, but you'll see some similarities in here. What we're going to do today is we're going to be working with, I'm going to be using a knightly sword. John is going to be using a Viking sword, and we're both using round bucklers. So with our bucklers, I'm using a brown buckler that I like to call the orange juicer. John is using a buckler from Arms and Armor. What's going to happen is, let's switch sides. We're going to start here. I'm going to start with my buckler extended and my point behind my buckler so it's resting on my hip. I don't want to be touching my buckler so I want to make sure it's pulled back just a little bit so I have space here. John is going to start with his buckler extended and his sword on his shoulder. His action is to step out towards his right with a cut to my arm. He steps out and he's going around my buckler to hit me. Go ahead and do that again, please. Begins his cut, hiding his hand behind his buckler, steps to an angle to cut behind my buckler. I just like that. So we're going to not let that happen. What I'm going to do, my initial defensive action, is going to be to take my buckler and rotate it from holding it here with my thumb up at 12 o'clock. I have movement I can do. If I rotate it to my left, I have 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock. For this action, I am going to rotate to 9 o'clock. And that gives me a little bit of protection. But the other reason I'm doing it, go ahead and recover. Starting here, my sword is hidden from my opponent. As soon as I rotate to 9 o'clock, I've opened up space for my sword. And I'm initiating a thrust at him. I am thrusting. He, however, is stepping to the angle and counter-cutting my arm. He will win this. Ready? So he gets that, and he pushes that down, and he hits me. So I need to be able to change my action. What we're going to do is, I turn to nine, I thrust, I'm going to roll across my buckler so I cover it this way. Then, I'm going to keep my sword underneath his sword, rolling across to hit him. So let's do that again. I initiate, I cover. Now, what I left out and I want to talk about here is, on this action, I want to use my false edge. I used my true edge last time and watch what happens. See how I take that over my head and I'm not putting my buckler between his sword and my body or my hand and I need to make sure that I do. But when I use my false edge, take a look at this. Let's see that again please. Mm -hmm. So I come through, I rotate around, rotate my buckler, catch that, and there's my counter cut with my false edge right underneath his ear. Can we do that again, please? And just goes right into place. Switch sides with me, please. We'll do it one more time here, then we'll do it with my back to the camera. Mm -hmm. Then we'll mask up. Yes, sir. Ready? Ready. And there's my counter cut to his head. And I'm protected from, my, from his cut with my quillin and my buckler. And then let's switch to here. I'm going to take this angle. Uh, no, I want to take this angle. There we go. There. So I start here. Well, again, my buckler's hiding my sword. I'm at 12 o'clock with my buckler. I rotate to nine. Don't do anything. Threatening a thrust 
at his stomach, protecting my arm with my buckler. If he didn't move, I'd probably be successful. Unfortunately, he's probably gonna move. Go ahead and back up just a little bit. So I initiate my action. He steps to the side. I have to change my action. And then I roll over my sword with my buckler and take his sword across for my counter cut to his head. One more time, please. And there's my counter cut to his head. And then we'll switch this side. And if you'll stand right there. Good position. Yes, sir. Come towards me a little bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now we'll do it again from this angle so you can see both of our actions. I had to initiate, he countercuts, so I need to change my action. There's my defensive action. As I rotate my buckler over my sword, it puts my false edge into the strike. What do you say we mask up for this? I say let's mask up. Great, now that we have our masks on, let's go ahead and do it again, but a little bit faster so that we can complete the action. Sound yes, good? Sir. Sounds good. We'll do it a couple times from this angle, mm -hmm. a couple times with my back at the camera, and then we'll just switch sides all the way around. Perfect. Ready? Ready. And there it is. Let's do it again. It's such a fast action because I'm rotating from my, leaving my false edge this way, I'm just turning my sword over and I'm actually using my buckler as a fulcrum for my cut. So I'm not muscling it with my shoulder, I'm bouncing off my buckler. Can we do that one more time? Yes, sir. And then once I do that, I'm going to complete the action. And then we'll switch to this side, please. So if you'll stand there. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. And look how far it moves his sword. Now, John, tell me, are yes, you sir. giving it to me? I am not giving it to you. Um, I'm throwing a cut in a manner that I'm going to do to lay a arm open. And this is not a cut where I'm tensing to smash a blow into somebody. I am aiming to put a gash yeah. to your arm. So when I throw this cut, I'm throwing a very flicking action for that arm. Yeah, and because you don't need to hack it off. If you break the arm, they're done fighting. And it doesn't take a lot of power that you think because I have a force multiplier right here, yeah. so. Cool, let's do it one more time. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. I missed that first one, so I carried through on the second one. You all right? <laughs> Ooh, I smell something nice. Little ozone going on. Just a wee bit. Let's go ahead and do it again here. All right. So we'll do it on this side. Ready? Ready. Oh. And you can finish them up however you want. Oh, again, okay. Ready? Ready. Ah, there was my true edge. And look how that, all he has to do is drop his hand over. And he's protected his head. Which is why we are using our false edge. I did that on purpose for you. Of course. Thank you. I wanted to show you what would happen if I did it the other way. I do the, the things I do for him. Thank you. Ready? <sighs> ah, missed again. Whoa. Not that time, though. Nope. So what was actually fun about that one is you didn't miss as much as you thought you did. Oh, did I get your knuckles? Yeah. Your cut became around in the lower line and just snaking from the cover position of my buckler. So I actually felt contact enter on my middle finger forward digit position here and then become the grazing line over. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take our masks off. Sounds good. So there we see the way that we can use our false edge and get our buckler as a way of actually bouncing off our buckler. And if we miss, because we're too high with our hands, we're lined up directly for another cut. Either way, you've got your hit. What did you feel on this action? Um, 
perceptibly swift in the counter. Um, so what was really fun about that there is I've actually used buckler ricochets before in a fight mm -hmm. where I've been thrown to catch it on my buckler there when somebody's tried to manhandle my blade right. or, hand, or rough it around to then be able to flick it back into play with my rotation there. Um, and to feel how that gets your false edge into that fight all that quicker to cover your, your arm. And the nice thing about this is even if I miss my initial strike, can we do it real slow? Yes, sir. Even if I miss my initial strike, I come through, I cover, and then I go over his head, I'm already in the process for my secondary cut and blocking out his sword with my buckler as I make that hit. So that's how I'm protecting my knuckles. Don't let your buckler arm go limp. It's not a dead fish. Don't let it hang down by your side. If you do, you will get hit on the knuckles. So you need to keep this as an active participant of the fight. Anything else you'd like to add? Ah, uh, no. Well, hey, thanks a lot for joining us today. It's always fun to be able to beat up, I mean, do videos with John. I very, very much appreciate all his help. And do us a favor, please. Hit the subscribe button and the like button and the notification icon somewhere down here so that you get notified when we put out new videos. Thanks again for being here with us. John, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. And to all of you, thank you. Take care. Later, all.